Well, I use um, at risk uh, in my uh, both courses I teach an MBA course at uh, Monmouth in logistics and at uh, Columbia University in quantitative analysis. At uh, Monmouth, I use at risk as a substitute for the economic order quantity formula, EOQ, which is traditionally taught. And the problem with the EOQ formula is that it, the order quantity is related to the order cost and the carrying cost. And in today's world, the ordering cost is approaching zero because of automatic, uh, automated uh, reordering. So there is no ordering cost. So how do you uh, uh, substitute into a formula that's supposed to minimize two and one of them is zero? The end result is an EOQ of zero, meaningless. So what I have done is established a simple, um, I think it's simple, a spreadsheet model of when to reorder based on stock outs, et cetera. And then I applied, uh, in this case, risk optimizer to the model. And the students can watch the development of um, the proper reorder quantity and ordering, the ordering, reordering point and ordering quantity. Uh, they can actually watch it on the screen uh, to arrive at points that minimize stockouts and uh, minimize average inventory, which is what you want to do. And then we have a real model of how to pick out the reordering point and the ordering quantity. So it's a total substitute to the ELQ formula, which really doesn't work. And then I can apply uh, risk optimizer to um, a different approach. That is for the factory to just to send in average demand. Whatever the average demand is, factory sends it in on a weekly or daily basis, whatever. The problem with that is that by periods of low demand, your inventory is going to go through the roof. Periods of high demand, you're going to have stockouts. So the idea now is to have a bin. When the bin gets too high, less will come in. When the bin gets too low, more will come in. And Risk Optimizer actually determines the bin levels and then the new higher shipments and the new lower shipments. And the uh, output of that is that your average uh, inventory falls, which is exactly what you want. You want the average inventory to be the smallest possible number consistent with stockouts. You don't want too many stockouts, obviously. And so I use, uh, in this particular case, risk optimizer more than that risk to as a substitute for the uh, ordering quantity, the economic ordering quantity, and this new approach of anticipating demand rather than reacting. My inventory is low, I react to that by ordering more. In anticipation, I know I have an average demand, just ship in the average demand, and then we'll make adjustments when the bid level gets too high or too low. So uh, I think it makes the course much more realistic and gives the uh, students a much better handle on inventory management.